Start off with quad day and healthy snacks for a healthy future. Really what we're trying to promote is their future. So this is a small part of the food initiative on sustainability and um, when the grants came out from the Luke Center, I thought this would be a great way to try to promote healthier snacks. So I decided to propose to do a day in the quad and make some of these snacks available for students to choose. We had Island Oasis, we had Jamba Juice, we had Muscle Milk, and then in between those tables, we had food samples for the students. We had protein smoothies, and we actually used soy instead of whey. The food initiative actually is bigger than just the healthy food choices. That was just, I think, more my start on that, and that's why I am on that committee. The so food initiative involves everything from food waste to even the products that you sell and use, the plastic forks and spoons and cups and things like that. So that's where that food initiative, I think, came in. And mine went further a little bit into the food itself of what we're actually serving and to make those choices. Two years ago, when I saw the movement across the country of schools ending the sale of soda and sugary items because of the obesity problem across the United States, across the nation. I thought, well, why aren't we taking that initiative? And that's when I found out that food was going to be one of these initiatives. Looking at the one aspect of sugar, that was my focus. Sugar and how it's detrimental to your health and what other things can you do. So if you can make that awareness to students of what other things are out there, then maybe they wouldn't be able to make those choices because a lot of times they don't know what those choices are. They don't really know what the meaning of healthy is either and they think they're eating fairly healthy. I know to make change takes a while and that's why we're to educate the students. I think it's important to just know what you're eating, what you're putting into your body, because necessarily it's not what the food is, it's what it does when it's inside your body and that's what's important to educate the students about.